Well, uh, to shed more light on this, we have the pleasure to have uh, this uh, phono with uh, Mr. Amr Abdurrahman, uh, political analyst, journalist and writer. Uh, good morning, uh, sir. Good morning to you. Hello to you and the dear viewers. And all those pleasures, all mine. Thank you so much. Well, Mr. Abdurrahman, how did you follow the inspection tour uh, by Prime Minister Dr. Mustafa uh, Madbouli uh, to the port uh, of Ain al uh, in order to follow up on the latest developments uh, and the international projects uh, industrial uh, for uh, that is established there? Uh, the question is, is there any country in this world until now for years, for, for more than uh, one decade, that uh, witnesses each and every day or month a new project and a new development in a new project uh, like Egypt uh, is doing uh, in the most uh, um, successful way. Uh, also, of course, to uh, Mr. Mustafa Madbouli and uh, those who are fighting uh, the battle of building this country for generations to come not just for uh, a year or uh, uh, a decade. Uh, I believe, of course, this is a very important, uh, this is the main pillar of our developing, uh, developing uh, economy, uh, building and, and rebuilding and uh, expanding the projects in Suez Canal Industrial Zone. Uh, we have re uh, reached uh, right now, uh, more than uh, a dozen uh, projects there uh, that opens the gates of investments from all over the world uh, with the Egyptian terms, which is a very important strategy that Egypt is tackling on in each and every cooperation with, each, with any country that uh, wishes uh, to invest in our projects. Uh, the new projects, of course, that means uh, prosperity and uh, good years to come, inshallah, for Sinai, for uh, expanding our pro project uh, of develop de developing Sinai. Uh, Sinai wa was neglected totally for decades before. And now it's in the eye of the attention of Mr. President Abdel Fattah Sisi and the leadership of this uh, new state, the new uh, Republic. I believe, of, uh, of course, this is a very, a very important uh, step towards uh, strengthen our economy in a battle that we are going through right now. Uh, Egypt is not developing uh, its uh, economy in um, normal circumstances. We are fighting to protect our economy and to, de to develop our economy and to build uh, the true solid base uh, of this economy, uh, despite we are facing uh, lots and lots of pressures uh, from uh, power of evil all over uh, our strategic uh, fronts, uh, whether from the east or from the north or from the south. I believe this is a battle, and I believe that uh, the best so soldiers on earth are taking the lead of this battle successfully, and I wish uh, the, the message reach to, the, the, to, the any, to any power in this world that we are going on with our developing uh, our economy and we, ca we can win with the unity of our leadership and the nation. On one heart, uh, one leader, uh, and I'm sure success, success will uh, always follow us wherever we go. Yes, uh, Mr. Abdurrahman, uh, so how did you see the importance of Egypt's uh, uh, keenness on upgrading the services of the uh, canals, uh, Suez Canal's uh, access, uh, and uh, Egypt's readiness uh, to be a regional logistic and commercial center? Uh, the, the meaning of this, that Egypt is going to be an, already uh, a central and a, and, a, and a heart zone and a key uh, word for investment uh, internationally, uh, which is uh, a new dimension for our own economy to, to reach uh, far beyond that we have ever dreamt. Uh, using our uh, Suez Canal project as a key project, the, the, the huge and the, the, the mega project that is taken 
the lead of our economy is, is very important. We are not just waiting there for uh, ships to, to, go, uh, to go through or go by the, uh, the Suez Canal. No, we are reaching and enriching that uh, historical project that was also uh, protected and uh, uh, expanded by building the, the huge tunnel, uh, the huge eight tunnels uh, be beneath the, the Suez Canal that connects Sinai with the center uh, of Egypt that makes uh, commerce uh, easier, that makes a commercial movement easier, that makes protecting Sinai militarily easier. Uh, we have a, a great mind that is masterminding the whole operation of building and rebuilding this country. Uh, I'm sure that uh, our associates uh, all over the world uh, are happy with uh, with such expanding in our uh, projects in, uh, in, uh, in the industrial zone and the economical zone around uh, the Suez Canal. Yes, uh, Mr. Abdurrahman, uh, to what extent does the Suez uh, Canal contribute uh, to the Canal's economic zone, uh, becoming a suitable environment for foreign investment? Well, this is the, the main uh, subject of the whole uh, issue. I'm, I'm talking about uh, more investments, more um, currency, uh, foreign currency from the, uh, the whole world. The currency battle is the, the main uh, fight, the main battle that we are uh, going through right now. Uh, by the way, this um, this project, one of the, the the most important projects that help uh, the economy in in the in the current uh, currency battle, in with with, with the existence of such uh, mega project, we have reached uh, the level of being member of the BRICS with Russia and India and China and other countries. Uh, with such a mega project all over Egypt, not only on Suez Canal, uh, we have reached the level of the, the few countries that are only uh, seeking liberation for its economy uh, away from the, the, the control of the dollar and the, and the domination of the, uh, the, the new order. With such projects, we can build our own independent, independent uh, economy and to uh, build our own identity and rebuild again again our own identity economically uh, um, politically uh, preserving and protecting the the, the, the higher uh, decision of the state and to make uh, our word uh, all over the world clear and sound and not following not following any uh, camp, whether the 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 eastern or uh, the 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 west uh, the western camp or the eastern camp. Yes, uh, Mr. Abdurrahman, um, how do you weigh the impact of the developments uh, in Yemen on the navigation movement in the canal, taking in consideration that the head of the Suez Canal Authority have uh, said that the navigation uh, was not uh, did not have uh, uh, any uh, there was no any uh, impact on the navigation uh, in the uh, canal until now there is no uh, not uh, there isn't uh, um, significant impact but there is an impact of course uh, i believe that we ha we are uh, f uh, facing um, a conspiracy a true conspiracy from iran and its own uh, its arms like the, the houthis uh, i am sure that uh, claiming the claims by the, by Iran or the Houthis that are the are defending uh, the Arabic interests in the in the occupied lands in Palestine are just pure lies. They have their own agendas against the Arabs. The the Persians are against any uh, Arabic existence in the territory. This is a historical. Uh, conflict goes all through uh, for uh, more than 2,000 years. I am sure that each and every terroristic attack uh, committed by the Houthis, um, raising the, 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 the flags of helping the Palestinians and helping the, the Arabic interests and fighting the Zionist existence, this is 
just um, pure lies that is being uh, that are being uh, dressed up in in uh, false uh, claims. This uh, this war that we are fighting this is what part of our all, uh, our wars economically uh, that I'm talking about. We are facing the the Iranian step, uh, threats as well as we are facing the Zionist existence. That as we are speaking right now, the, the Palestinian resistance in the Arabic occupied land are doing wonderful and historical uh, resisting fight and resisting battle against this unit's existence with, uh, with uh, very, very small weapons and very, very, very so much, so little uh, fighters that were standing against a whole lot of, a lot of, a lot of army. Uh, supported by the U.S. and other um, thousands of mercenaries from all over the world. Iran is con uh, getting into that conflict, in that holy war that Arabs should, uh, is, is just fighting right now, just claims to cover their own agenda, the Iranian agendas, against Egypt and against Arabs. Uh, the, 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 the nations... Uh, whether in Iran or whether in the Arabic territories are um, target, targeted with such uh, agendas uh, masterminded by those leaders in Iran. The leaders in Iran were um, dropped on this territory, on the Middle East, by uh, the French and the, the, and the Zionist uh, uh, colon, colonization. Uh, El Khomeini has come from Iran on a on a, on a, a has come from France yes. with with Air France uh, pilot to yes. to, to, to destroy the stability of the region. Yes, Mr. Abdurrahman, uh, uh, Prime Minister Dr. Mustafa Madbouli inspected uh, the Sukhna uh, uh, port, uh, which is uh, um, uh, which is uh, uh, a main uh, part of the logistic passage of Sukhna the uh, Khila, and followed up on the uh, implementation work at the containers terminal. Meanwhile, um, the Minister of Transportation, Kamil Wazir, uh, said that the terminal is built on an an area of 100.6 million square meters and its capacity is 3.5 million container per uh, year. Uh, he said that it is planned to uh, uh, receive giant chips on a distance of 400 meters. So how did you uh, read uh, this? A great effort, of course, uh, by Mr. Minister Kamil Wazir. He's a symbol of the, the the minister that Egypt needs each and in each in each and every uh, cabinet uh, case, I believe that his efforts are significant and uh, realized, most recognized uh, in developing his sector of economy, and of course, uh, communication and transportation are one of the main veins for this for that project, industrial project, to connect. The industrial projects uh, with with uh, ships, with shipping and loading and uh, and importing and exporting uh, in our connections with the whole world economically. I believe those uh, developments are very significant, are very important, and truly uh, positive for our march toward uh, making that project in China, a Suez Canal, even bigger, even uh, more uh, bigger and more uh, expanded uh, with more horizons for a better future economically for Egypt, inshallah. Yes, uh, Mr. Abdurrahman, how do you uh, see uh, the Suez Canal as uh, uh, the importance of Suez Canal as uh, an important uh, uh, national income for Egypt? It is already the, the, uh, the most and the, you know, the most important uh, project economically, economically for Egypt. Um, at the same time, we are facing the the the, the, the threats of the colonization or ancient colonization powers like Britain and other uh, countries that has uh, started that project in the time of being uh, when we were when we, Egypt was uh, occupied by Brit uh, the British. I believe we have reached our independence. And we, we are controlling our own land, our own projects, our own Suez Canal, 
and this gave them great uh, ache in their hearts and their minds, of course. We are ready to protect our own projects, our own national economical uh, development uh, strategies. And of course, this, can, this can't go without a battle, and we are fighting that battle with each and every weapon we have. Uh, Suez Canal projects uh, are the, the, the jewel of, the, per, of, of the, the, the crown in the Egypt, the Egyptian uh, economy. And we are doing, uh, I, I'm sure that also that that project has reached um, the level of the best uh, development project in the past years all, all over the world. This is a significant uh, certificate that uh, gives us a hint, just a hint, of what is really going on on Suez Canal. A uh, huge effort and huge, huge uh, and, and intelligent uh, strategy. And I'm sure this is a, a great vision is beyond all these uh, projects economically in Egypt and other uh, fields. Yes, uh, I thank you very much for your time. Uh, thank you for your val valuable uh, information. Mr. Amr Abdurrahman, uh, political analyst, uh, journalist and writer, thank you very much for joining us over the phone.